Hi everybody! Watch our whole new video to learn the healthy eating rules which work for all for a hundred percent. Don't forget to subscribe in our channel and like the videos. Let's get started! Healthy Eating Rules Healthy nutrition throughout life is the most important element for maintaining and strengthening health. Anyone can have a varied balance and healthy diet. Make your eating habits healthier. Don't count your calories. Calories from a sugar bun and from a fresh vegetable salad aren't equal. Some kinds of calories harm your body, while others can actually heal you. It's not about the number of calories, it's all about the food quality. Some types of calories can get you addicted, others let your body heal. Again, some leave weight on your thighs and others boost your metabolism. It happens because the food we eat don't just contain calories, they contain information. Every bite of food you eat transmits a set of coded instructions to your body that can lead your body to better health or diseases instead. Dr. Mark Hyman, MD, Director of the Cleveland Clinic Calories we consume are not equal to calories we burn. Most people count calories when they want to lose or hold their weight. But this is not actually safe, because your body digestion and calorie consumption depends on the food quality and your gut microbiome. The microbiome is almost 3 kilograms of bacteria living in your gut. The best way for getting a healthy and diverse microbiome is to eat a variety of plant-based whole foods. Calorie restriction is stressful for the body. When your body is stressed and thinks it's starving, it stores fat. By eating more of the right food, you're telling your body that extra fat can get burned. When fasting, the body resists long-term weight loss. Eat Vegetable Protein Unlike animal protein, vegetable protein gets absorbed slowly and fully. If your diet is balanced, you'll get a full amount of protein from plant-based foods. A crucial question is, can I get enough protein from a plant-based diet? The answer is yes. In fact, you'll get about 40% more than your daily requirement, 40 to 50 grams, and you'll get all the amazing benefits that a plant-based diet can provide, like plenty of fiber. 97% of people suffer deficiency in this key nutrient. Phytonutrients, antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, and water. In fact, 97% of people get more than enough protein every day. So why should it be a problem? Protein indeed has a vital role when it comes to biochemical processes. With a protein help, Minerals and vitamins are delivered to all cells of the human body. Proteins help speed up chemical processes in the body as well, and also help the body fight various infections and viruses. If you eat a variety of plant-based whole foods, like vegetables, legumes, 100% whole grains, fruits, seeds, and nuts, rather than processed foods, it's very unlikely that you be lacking protein. Even if your protein requirements are higher, like after a major surgery, for example. In other words, if you consume enough whole plant-based foods every day, you're getting enough protein. The more protein, especially animal protein, an individual consumes, the higher the risk of various chronic diseases. The composition of amino acids, which are the building blocks of animal protein derived from animals, differs from that of plant proteins. Our body needs amino acids, not the protein itself. When it comes to the amount of protein we get, no need to measure it daily. According to the World Health Organization, just the amount of 0.5 grams per kilogram is sufficient to maintain good health. Animal protein increases IGF-1, an insulin-like growth hormone, and chronic inflammation is a major factor in most chronic diseases. Also, red meat is high in Neu5GC, a cancerogenic acid that leads to chronic inflammation and increases the risk of cancer. A plant-based diet can prolong life by blocking the mTOR protein which increases the risk of early aging. The best disease control diet would be a whole low in animal protein, unhealthy fats, and refined carbohydrates plant-based diet. How it looks in practice. Vegetables, fruits, whole grains, legumes, low amounts of simple and refined carbohydrates such as sugar and white flour, and plenty of good fats such as flaxseed oil, seeds, and nuts come first. To continue, a healthy diet should be low in junk fats that is, trans fats, saturated fats, and GMO fats. And finally, focus on quality, not quantity. Dr. Dean Ornish, The New York Times According to Dr. Dean Ornish, the human body has an amazing ability of self-healing, and the body heals quite quickly once you stop harming it. Eat water When we consume more water-rich foods, we absorb water slower because it takes part of those food structure. The water found in fresh plant foods is rich in phytonutrients, vitamins, minerals, and fiber, which help your body absorb more water at a slower rate, which means the body stays hydrated over a longer period of time. 
cucumbers, apples, leafy and other aquatic vegetables and fruits fill the body with water and microelements. Cucumbers would be a great example, since 96% of cucumbers are made of water. Eating 100 grams of them is almost the same as drinking 100 milliliters of water, and even better. In addition, fresh fruits, vegetables, and other water-rich foods contain nutrients, vitamins, minerals, and fiber that can improve your health, build muscle, and increase your workout achievements. Dehydration leads to energy loss, headaches, and overall fatigue. This is why drinking water has been generally recommended by health professionals over decades. However, to keep our body in its best condition, it doesn't only take hydration but also vitamins and nutrients consumption to help our body function properly. By eating water, you not only hydrate your body with water but also fill it with everything you need to become strong and healthy. Our body is constantly regenerating, creating new cells and replacing old and damaged ones. So it's important that we eat and drink with a sharp focus on promoting cell health. Eat greens and especially dark green stuff. Eat a couple of grabs of green stuff daily and you'll notice some positive changes in your body in a couple of weeks. Consuming enough green stuff daily is one of the secrets to getting that radiant skin. Greens are one of the most effective and powerful foods on the planet. This doesn't mean that you should only eat salads. Just add some green stuff to your regular diet. Greens are the least consumed foods in a standard diet, but the most essential for your in and out health, since this is the perfect nutrition. There are plenty of green foods to choose from. Kale, spinach, chard, parsley, turnips, mustard, beets, arugula, broccoli, bok choy, and all kinds of lettuce. But there are also many ways to cook them. Steamed, stewed, fried, boiled, baked, raw, in salads, in smoothies, or you can eat them fresh. No matter how you eat them, leafy greens are your medicine. You don't have to love greens, you just have to eat them. Don't be afraid of healthy fats. Healthy fatty acids like those in avocados, extra virgin olive oil, nuts, and seeds help nourish our fattest organ, the brain. Fat is one of the main bodybuilding blocks. The body consists 15 to 30% of fat. Seeds, nuts, avocados, vegetable milk, and butter nourish the brain and improve hair, skin, and nails condition. Eat foods of various colors. Bright colors are actually vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, phytonutrients that we need to be healthy. When did you last eat colorful, rainbow-like food three times a day? Even on a subject of healthy food, we tend to stick around the same things. Avocado toasts, quinoa salad with a side dish, coleslaw salad, etc. However, making sure that you include colors in your daily rations is the path to getting a full spectrum of vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. Each color represents a different set of phytonutrients. So, by eating rainbows, you're guaranteed to be getting all those types. For example, red fruits such as tomatoes, watermelon, and strawberries are rich in phytonutrients like lycopene, vitamin C, and anthocyanins. Yellow foods contain beta-carotene, vitamin A, and alpha-carotene. Green stuff have phytonutrients like chlorophyll, iron, magnesium, and vitamin K. A rainbow is a great visual reminder that food is medicine. Eat superfoods which are rich in micronutrients. The daily dose of proteins, fats, and carbs does not provide the body with everything it needs to make sure of getting micro and macronutrients. Superfoods are the foods that are high in nutrients compared to their size. Things like goji berries, adaptogenic herbs, hemp seeds, chia seeds, spirulina, and more are your daily dose of essential vitamins and minerals. Eating by intuition. Eating intuitively means understanding the needs of the body and making up for them with the food rich in nutrients. Some say that our guts are our second brain, but in fact, it comes first. Have you ever heard of the expression, listen to what your body tells you? Healthy gut relates to intuition. Your body is incredibly smart. It has intuition. It knows how much of certain nutrients you need and knows how to tell your body about thirst, hunger, or exhaustion. It has balance and harmony in every action and reaction from the cellular to the atomic level. Intuitive eating is the signals that you hear from your body. Fermented food. Proper fermentation generates amazing substances that inhabit our body with beneficial bacteria and heal from within. These are sour pickled cabbages, pickled vegetables, fermented nut, cheese, and coconut yogurt. Fermented foods do not take much effort in terms of digestion, 
And in fact, they help us to better absorb the other foods consumed along with them due to being rich in enzymes. Many nutrients are complex chemical clusters, but during the fermentation process, complex molecules get broken down into simpler elements. Fermentation allows not only to preserve the beneficial properties of nutrients, but also help the body absorb them successfully. Cereal fermentation, if soaked, works on phytic acid breaking down and increases the nutritional value of cereals, legumes, and nuts, and lets the body absorb it fully. Fermented foods help maintain a balance between health-improving and disease-provoking bacteria, and they are a source of vitamins and minerals required by the body. Some ancient Chinese tracts mention pickled or fermented vegetables included in the China's Great Wall Builder's diet. Japanese people also regularly serve a portion of pickles in the dining table. Over the years, Korean people have been famous for kimchi. Historical documents show that sour pickled cabbage was popular and the most demanded food among many nations. The ancient Greeks and Romans wrote about its benefits to health, since it was a curative and preventive product for intestinal infections, and sour cabbage with lemon was the medicine for scurvy in a three-year voyage for Captain Cook and his crew. Acid Base Balance It starts with the water you drink. Measure the pH of your water with a litmus tape. The normal varies from 6.5 to 8.5. Animal products oxidize the body. Vegetable products normalize pH. Acid-base balance break happens primarily on the account of food and your body pH will depend on what you put in your plate. Fortunately, the choice is entirely up to you. For healthy people, it's necessary to consume 50% acidic and 50% alkaline foods. In cases of having diseases or feeling loss of vigor and chronic fatigue, it's time to switch you to another mode where 20% will make up your acidic foods and 80% off alkaline. Going on an alkaline diet? Make sure that you're not going to extremes just by consuming only alkaline foods. This practice might also remove beneficial nutrients coming from acidic foods like healthy fats, proteins, and essential micronutrients. The main goal is to eliminate the most acidic foods and consume more plant-based and mineral-rich foods, especially organic vegetables. Including more plant-based foods in your diet is one of the most important ways to create the right alkaline balance. It's not so difficult to follow the healthy diet rules. All you need is to realize that proper nutrition should become a part of your healthy lifestyle, like a good habit, but not a temporary diet. Proper rational and balanced nutrition is the path to good health and longevity.